Good morning. Laura drops her son off for pre-K, knowing his day will be full of creativity and learning. Last time you went to the moon, right? It was, you were on a space rocket. Nourishing kids' minds and their imagination. One reason why Laura loves the pre-K program at St. Stanislaus Koska Catholic Academy in Greenpoint, Brooklyn. And she's not alone. And it's just one big happy family. The program here is amazing. Uh, he's learned so much already. But now the program is in limbo. I still don't know what to tell parents and it's, it's just an awful situation. Their pre-K-3 is private, but since 2016, their pre-K-4 has been funded through the city. 105 of those pre-K for all programs have been canceled for the 2021 school year. St. Stanislaus Kosko was originally one of them, but they've appealed. Now they're still waiting to hear if their contract will be cut and they're running out of time. And registration usually opens. They haven't announced the window yet, but it usually opens around the first week of February. School officials are confused because they've been at max capacity for the past six years with a 30 person waiting list. They have high scores and great reviews from parents. Last year, they were even asked to expand. The free program is also crucial, serving Greenpoint, Williamsburg and Long Island City, all areas where rents have skyrocketed. Parents rely on it. I mean, it saves them a ton of money and I think it's kind of unfair to pull out the rug from under all these parents during a pandemic where they really can't get into schools. Schools are closed right now. Whether it's positive or negative, just give us an answer so that we know we can plan and help ease the tension and help ease some of the pressures that our families are experiencing right now, which is important to us. They've been asking for help setting up a petition and urging their community to email the DOE, but still nothing. Current News reached out to the DOE. They say the appeals process is ongoing and that the school should hear back in the next few weeks. Frank tells us that if this waiting game does end in them losing their contract, they will look into creating a private program, but that it won't be free. A major blow to this community. In Greenpoint, Brooklyn, Emily Druby, Currents News. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell to get updates to all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.